Hello, sports fans, sports bettors, and YouTube Nation. John here with the Big Picks. Hope everybody's having a great and happy Wednesday. Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. Um, need to get my Patreon back rolling. Um, chart Picks, having a rough start. It's not the first time they've had a rough start. Um, yesterday, I felt it was on point with the Phillies, and then the Phillies bullpen gave up six runs in the top of the eighth inning to the San Francisco Giants, and that was that. Um, I hate bullpens. I love the first five. The reason I love the first five is when when you, when you cap games, um, my record in the first five is so much better than the entire games because I don't like bullpens. You you can't predict who the manager is going to decide to go with. You can't predict if that guy's going to give up three runs on that day. You can have a bullpen that has a .9 ERA or a 1.8 ERA, and they come in and give up seven runs. It just happens. Um, and it's and it's tough to to go inside the manager and be like, okay, well, you've got these guys available, so if they get in this situation, which they should, you know, these pitchers are going to finish the game out, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, I decided to go with this guy because we had a lead, and then all of a sudden we didn't have a lead because I went with that guy. It, it, that that stuff is hot. I just hate bullpens. Period. Um, yeah, simple as that. But. I do a lot of first fives. I like them. But um, quick recap for yesterday. Obviously, we lost the Phillies. Um, I had the Marlins' first five overall. Um, they got rocked right out of the gate. Tried to play a little catch-up there, but didn't quite get there. Um, I had the Minnesota Twins in game number two over the A's. The A's are just on a train right now. Um, and, and probably shouldn't step in front of that until they lose. And maybe not even just step in front of the A's train the rest of the season. No, they're back on track, it seems. But uh, Twins did not score a single run in two games, so that's something to keep in mind coming off their COVID protocol um, with all the stuff they had going on and still have going on within their organization. So today, um, you know, they got Medea on the mound, Kenta Medea, but um, I don't think they're going to beat the A's. Uh, I don't know if they, if they can't score, they're not going to win. Uh, Mets over the Cubs. Um, Cubs took care of business 3-1. to one. Um, You know, that's, that's a low-scoring game at Wrigley Field. Um, so... Uh, winners, we had the uh, Bruins over the Sabres. Uh, had that minus uh, one and a half on the puck line. They took care of business and won. Had the D-backs first five over the Reds plus a half a run. Didn't need the half a run. That They were taking care of business early there. That game ended up getting suspended and is going to be finished this morning. Um, your free YouTube play was the Penguins over the Devils on the three-way. That was a crazy game. Seven to six in a hockey game. That's nuts. Going NHL here for your free YouTube play. We're going Minnesota Wild, Arizona Coyotes. Um... If you guys have been following me, you know I'm riding the Wild. I got the Wild on my premium card already um, with a, a little different play than I have going on here. But the Wild come in, they're 28-13-3 on the season. The Coyotes come in, they're 20-21-5. Um, the Coyotes, they're, they're on the struggle bus as of late. Uh, they've won one of their last seven games. They're 1-6 in their last seven games. Minnesota is on a four-game win streak. Um, they dropped two prior to that. They're four and two in their last six, but they beat Arizona five to two. They beat San Jose three to two. They beat San Jose five to two, and they beat Arizona five to two. Um, this game is being played in Arizona. Um, expected goalies. I don't think there's any um, confirmed goalies yet for this uh, match. Yep, still not confirmed. But you got Antti Ranta is is expected to be in net for um, the Coyotes. He's five to five on the season. Three point five three goals against the average. Ninety point five save percentage. I'm having a so-so season uh, over on Minnesota side. We're expecting to see Talbot. Um, obviously, you won't know until we get to game time. Minnesota loves to play this goalie carousel where they just don't announce a goalie until it's you know right before the game, and then you, it's not who you think it is. But t right now, Talbot it is expected to be in net. 15 and six on the season, two shutouts, 2.40 goals against average, um, 92.2 save percentage. So he's having himself a good season. Minnesota themselves are are playing. Um, you know, good hockey. They're just playing good as a team. They're 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 clicking at the right time. They've clicked earlier this season. Then they kind of got in a little funk there. And I think they're they're coming out of their funk. They're out of their funk. They're ready to go. They're ready to skate. Um, the money line on this game is minus one fifty five. I like it. We took minus one sixty yesterday in hockey. You got to pay a little more, but it's worth it in most of the cases. So in this same case. We're going to go on one unit play, minus 155 on the Minnesota Wild on the money line to win this game and get the job done. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn the notifications on. Give me a big old thumbs up if you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice each and every single day. Let's see if we can get five in a row. I've won five of my last six 
for YouTube players for you guys. So we're clicking, banging, rocking, and rolling. Your official Ricketts Ice Cold Pop Pick for this game. I'm going to say it again. Minnesota Wild on the money line. Get the job done. Thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, and most importantly, good luck with your bets.